Before you come to Washington College, the Registrar's Office will contact you in the summer by phone or email. For your first semester, the Registrar's Office will choose classes for you. It is very helpful if you have decided on the discipline you want to study, because they can choose classes for you that meet your interests. Some new students are disappointed when they learn that they can't choose their courses for the first semester, but there are two very good reasons for this. First, senior students must have the opportunity to choose their classes before other students so that they are able to complete the courses they need in order to graduate. You may be choosing your classes last, but as the semesters pass and you increase your academic standing, you'll be able to choose your classes sooner. When it's your turn to choose first, you'll be happy that you have first choice of the scheduled classes. Secondly, course selection happens about five months in advance. For the fall semester, students schedule their classes in March. For the spring semester, students schedule in October. So, course selection happens perhaps even before you have made your decision to come to Washington College. When it's time to choose classes, you will receive an email from the Registrar's Office notifying you of the time and date you are scheduled to register for classes. If you miss your registration appointment, you must wait until after all other students have scheduled their courses before you have the opportunity again. So pay attention and check your email frequently before the start of the registration period. Unhappy with your courses? can't get into the courses you want? At the start of each semester, there is the drop ad period, a few days where students are able to change their schedules. If you can't register for a class because it is full, register to be on the wait list. As students change their schedules and drop classes, there is a chance you'll be able to add the course to your schedule. The drop ad process is automatic, so make sure to register for it. Keep in mind that during the drop ad period, Schedule changes are not recorded to students' academic records, known as transcripts. However, after the drop ad period ends, students are able to drop classes only through a process called withdrawing from a class, but a withdrawal is recorded on the transcripts. Over the course of their studies at Washington College, students are allowed to withdraw from only three classes, so be careful about making this decision. If you think choosing classes will be difficult or confusing, don't worry. Every freshman or first-year student is assigned to a professor who will act as their advisor. These professors may not be teaching in the discipline you want to study, but they are knowledgeable about the college and its academic programs. After you formally choose your discipline, known as declaring a major, you will be assigned an advisor in your discipline. Many times, the professors in the department will choose the students they want to advise based on the professor's research interests and how these interests match those of the students. Most students declare their major during their sophomore or second year, but it's possible to declare it during your first year if you know what you want to study. But don't be in a hurry to declare your major right away. Because Washington College is a liberal arts college, we focus on the comprehensive development of students. This means that students study courses in a number of disciplines, with some classes required only for the discipline and others required for graduation from the college. Taking classes in multiple disciplines gives students the opportunity to learn in different fields and choose one as their major. Students can also choose more than one field in a process of choosing a major, such as business management, and a minor in another, such as psychology. The difference between a major and minor is the number of required courses with fewer courses required for the minor. Some students even choose to double major, meeting the requirements for both academic programs. After you have finished all of the required classes for your major and to graduate from Washington College, there is one last step, and it's an important one. During the last or senior year, students are enrolled in what is called the Senior Capstone Experience, known as the SCE. This is a requirement for all majors, but each discipline has its individual requirements to fulfill the SCE. Students may conduct original experiments in biology or write a research analysis of a major corporation. Some programs have a comprehensive exam as their SCE requirement. Speak with your program advisor after declaring your major about the SCE requirements of your discipline. One last important point to explain. In the United States, college tuition does not cover the cost of textbooks, and textbooks can be expensive. Students can research the textbook they need for their courses on the college website before the start of each semester. They can buy, or rent, textbooks in the Washington College Bookstore or online. The College Bookstore has competitive book prices, and students do not have to wait for their books to be shipped. Amen.
with broad stripes and bright stars.